Hey everybody, welcome to Relationship Tuesdays here on Ask Leaves. It's me, Lieberman. and we got three relationship-themed emails that we are, we are just going to dive right into. There's a lot to chew on here, so I hope you have a healthy appetite and an empty plate, because we got so much to chew and then spit up and then chew again, like a bird feeding baby birds. <clears throat> My throat is phlegmy, which is so fun for all of you. Uh, let's just jump in, shall we? <clears throat> His first email is from Tyler. Tyler is in middle school at a private school, but a lot of the people that he hangs out with, for the most part, are nice. Firstly, I have this crush on this, I have a crush, this girl that I find very attractive, smart, and just seems like my other half. Very recently was walking towards her house, and all of a sudden, uh, you say all of the sudden, it's all of a sudden. Um, she voluntarily wrapped her arm around mine. She's been a friend of mine for a while now, and she hasn't done it since. I feel like asking her out would ruin things. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have found her love for anime. She and I share many interests as well. Many other interests? Because you have an, both have an interest in anime? I just need some advice uh, as of what to do. I just need some advice on what to do. I'm sorry, I said that I wouldn't do this anymore, but I feel like you aren't going to be that upset. That I'm that I'm I'm that it's, I'm not insulting you. I do not mean to. The second thing that this person Tyler needs help with is he had a massive crush on another girl last year, and for a bit she liked me too. But that was when I was being a gentleman to her friend that I had liked at, at the time. We were in a love triangle. What? We were in a love triangle because she liked my friend and I. We both liked her, and when it came down to it, I was always there for her, especially when the other guy asked out two other girls at a party we went to. You gotta break up these sentences, buddy. I know you're in middle school. You have time to fix this. <clears throat> uh, we spoke throughout the summer, and we even went to an amusement park together with two others, but after that, we stopped speaking to one another for some odd reason. Three weeks after school started again, said the first word to me in almost two months, but the only thing she said to me was, hey, and that is as far as things went, other than her asking for relationship advice for a joke date. That was what pissed me off the most. I see her walking in the halls often, and she says, hi, and I say hi back, but that is as far as it goes. Time and time again, I think about what I what could have, what could have, and I find myself starting to like her a pinch. Do you have any tips on how to forget her? Thanks, Matt. Okay, um... All right, the first thing, the first part of your question, we're talking about the friend of yours. Um, you think that it'll ruin things. Uh, if you think it'll ruin things, you don't want to date her, then don't ask her out. If you want to date her, ask her out. Either way, you should probably have a conversation about maybe what that was if it's going to plague your mind for a while. If it's something you can't forget about and you can't get over, you need to talk about it. And uh, fucking, I don't know, dude. Like, being with a friend, sometimes, yeah, when you're done, if, if things end badly, yeah, the friendship is kind of fucked. But, you know, you're saying in the second one, you wonder what could have been. Maybe you'll be wondering the same thing about this friend of yours. Maybe you should ask her out if that's something you want. As for the other thing, um, first of all, know that, know that young people, not necessarily yourself, but are stupid about relationships because you haven't been in a ton of them yet and you're swimming with hormones and it's fucking hard to make sense of anything, especially when you don't have any empirical evidence of your own life to support any of your actions. So, okay, so this girl you had a crush on um, and you never asked her out. Uh, when I was being a gentleman to her friend that I had liked at the time, we were in a love triangle because she liked my friend and I, uh, we both liked her. Listen, all of this doesn't matter. You like this girl, you didn't ask her out. I'm sorry, you may have missed your window. If you want to, guess what you can do? You can talk to her and say, hey, I think it's fucked up that we were so close and we liked each other and now you're nowhere in my life and the first thing you say to me is, hey, and you ask me about relationship advice for a joke date, whatever that means. I think that that's messed up because I thought we were closer than that and I thought that maybe there was something here. You are within your rights to say that to her politely, not from a position of like, you fucked up, you hurt me, fuck you, like how could you, my heart, meh. No, you have every right to politely, calmly, maturely have a conversation about your feelings, her feelings, and your friendship. 
That is something. I don't know why. What happened to everyone in America or around the world that made us think that we can't do that? That's the first thing you should do is fucking talk to each other so that you don't feel miserable on your own wondering what could have been and stewing over the perceived slights of another person who likely has no idea what they're doing to you. So, my advice to you, Tyler, one, if you like the friend, dater, if not, you should have a conversation about what that was and say that, you know, you love her as a friend, but that's what it's going to be and that you're sorry. So that there's no misconstruing of shit and that she knows where she stands. As for this other girl you're asking on how to forget her, um, I mean, the only way that you forget about women that you uh, fall for is when you meet someone else and you never fully forget about anyone. I still think about ex-girlfriends. I know I would never get back with them. I know and remember all the reasons why we didn't work out, but that's never gonna stop you from remembering some of the reasons why you were attracted to them in the first place. And I don't think there's anything wrong with keeping that a part of you and not forgetting that. Why would you wanna forget something so special? <sighs> I think you have every right to say to this girl, get some closure and maybe that'll help you forget her, is to say, yo, we were close once, I don't know what the fuck happened, but this really upset me, this hurt my feelings and uh, I wish that you had handled it differently. Maybe getting some closure will help you forget her. Other than that, just limit contact. Limit contact with her and try to just build new things in your life. Meet new people. Dude, I mean, you go to school together, you're not gonna be able to forget her completely. You're gonna see her all the time. So maybe getting closure is your best bet. I hope that that helps. Um, and I hope you're not upset with me for correcting this grammar, but like, come on, bro, you're smarter than this. You are. You're smarter than this. This is an email, not a text message. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay on this page. Okay, second question. This is, uh, this is from a Lieber friend. He is 17 years old. Uh, hey Matt, it all started about a year ago when my cousin, who I'm really close with, brought her best friend Madeline to a church trip where you fix up, fix up houses in the Appalachian Mountains for a week. It, I, it felt as though I fell in love at first sight. Her and I, she and I, were on the same team, there were six or seven teams, and we grew close. After the trip, she wanted to keep in touch with me and gave me her number. We would have eight hour phone conversations almost every night during the summer, and I thought she only thought of me as a friend. No one, no friend talks for eight hours every night, buddy. No one. It doesn't happen. We're all too busy. We don't give enough of a shit. Eight hours? You know that. From, for now, from now on, now you know. Eight hours a night, every night? Dude, she fucking likes you. Okay. Um... <clears throat> That changed when she would give any excuse to be around me, ask my cousin to see if the three of us could hang out. Then uh, one day I found out from my cousin, who was caught in the middle this whole time, that she had a huge crush on me. I didn't act on this new information for maybe three or four weeks. Why? Why? Around this time, my junior year started and her sophomore year started. I then invited her to a retreat that my church puts on every year. We ended up making out and she became my girlfriend, girlfriend is one word, for around four months, for around four months, period. We were super happy and we even said we love each other, which I had never felt before. She then out of nowhere broke up with me. Whoa, I didn't speak to her at all. All this time, I never stopped thinking about her. About a month ago, she was trying, starting to try to be around me again, texting me and hanging out with my friends. She would continue to flirt with me and try to get close to me again. We would have maybe eight hour phone conversations every night, even though we both had school the next morning. She ha about two weeks ago invited me on a coffee date, just the two of us, and I asked her to prom as a friend because that's all we were at this point. She said no, but continued to try to flirt with me. I still love her and I don't know what to do. Should I move on and keep the friendship, just kill the friendship or tell her how I feel? I don't know why people are so fucking draconian with, with complex relationship issues 
Well, I only have two choices. I have to cut them out of my life entirely, or I just have to bury everything I'm feeling deep down inside and try to preserve a friendship because I'm afraid I might never have a friend again. <clears throat> look, Libra friend, the only option is to say to her, look, bro, I told you I fucking loved you, and then you broke up with me, even though you said you loved me too, and now you wanna come back into my life like nothing fucking happened? Excuse me, where do you get off? I can't be around you if you're gonna give me such intense mixed signals. It's making me miserable. It is not a friendship that I want or deserve because I deserve and want better. So, if you don't fucking like me, stop flirting with me. Stop trying to act like we are who we were before because we're not. If you know, hope against hope, you actually do still love me? Explain to me why we broke up and why you're just coming around now. There are holes, big holes, in my understanding of your actions, and I deserve answers. I have earned them. Talking to you eight hours a night? Fuck, I have earned my answers. So, if you want to be my friend, you are going to treat me with respect. And if you want to be more than that, you're gonna earn your way back into my fucking good graces because I do not deserve this treatment and you do not deserve my kindness, period. I hope that helps. Just laid down some law and shit. All right, final email of the day. Um, you put your name in the subject, but I don't think you said that I could use your name, so I'm not going to. You gotta explicitly tell me, because a lot of people prefer their privacy. My girlfriend and I uh, broke, officially broke up about two weeks ago. She was my first girlfriend and it lasted for nearly eight months. It all started when she kissed her previous boyfriend. Fortunately, she called me immediately after and told me. I was hurt, but I cared about her very much, so I, for, I forgave her. The following day, she said that she would like to spend some time up to a week alone. I respected her request and let her be. A week later, she told me that she didn't want to get back together. This didn't hurt me very much. I was glad she was honest with me. Just wanted the best for her and wished to remain friends. In the week following that, she had gotten back with her previous boyfriend. They hung out, they kissed and cuddled, they talked. Even after that, he remained the asshole that he was just eight months prior. <clears throat> she came running back to me, crying and hurt. She wanted me back and I rejected her. Good boy. Uh, I rejected because uh, she had told me that she fell in love with him within that week, not to mention the part she cheated on me. Um, she forgot everything we were, fell in love again, and had no problems telling him that she loved him. I felt forgotten. Our relationship had 128 miles between it, and we are only 15. I don't know what that means. Was this a long distance? I told her we could try again when we were older and closer, but she kept ranting about how lucky I was to have her fighting to try to win my love back. Everyone I've spoken to about this said they would have left her after she cheated. I don't know what to do or what to say. Thank you for your time. You're a huge inspiration to me. Listen, Libra friend. Um, first of all, you can tell your friends to shove it. A lot of people will say if someone cheats, there is no reason to stay with them. Um, I think it depends on the situation. I honestly, I still, I don't know that it's natural for one person to want only one person. And I feel like a lot of people uh, drive to some, themselves crazy with guilt because they're still attracted to people or they still have feelings for other people even when they're with someone. Um, sometimes slip ups happen. If it was just a kiss, if that's really what it was, um, you know, and she had told you about it immediately, that's much better than it being worse or it being an affair or emotionally cheating over months. To me, is worse than a kiss. Kisses happen. Um, not to condone cheating in any way, but I'm just saying, you know, you had your reasons for staying with her. You shouldn't feel necessarily, don't feel stupid for staying with her. That was your decision. And if it was a relationship that you were willing to still give another shot to, even after she did that, that's your prerogative. Um, me personally, I yeah, it probably would have been a reason to, to break up, but if she seemed sincere, I don't know if I would have. I don't know if I would have. Um, in regards to everything else, 
No, she is not lucky. Uh, you you are not lucky for her fighting to win your love back. She does not deserve your love. She doesn't understand what the fuck love is. You don't fall in love with someone in a week, especially your ex-boyfriend. You either were always in love with him and uh, you just tried to keep it away for a while because he was bad for you, or you are a teenager and you don't know what the fuck love is. Holy shit. She does not know what love is, uh, you, and believe me, she does not deserve you. I'm sorry that this terrible thing happened and that uh, you, you're you confused and hurt. Fuck. I mean, you're only 15. <sighs> know that not every relationship, most relationships will not be like this one. Um, that when you're dating as a teenager, you or your partner will likely do something stupid. Why? Because you don't have a ton of experience and fucking like people are careless with other people's feelings when they haven't been hurt before. And maybe she hasn't. Um, there isn't really a ton of understanding your partner. There isn't that real honesty often in young relationships. Um, be prepared for that. Guard yourself a little bit. Um, I'm not one for pledging fealty and love when you're young because frankly, I'm, t I'm going to be, I'm going to turn 27 tomorrow and some days I still don't know what the word fucking means because it means something different for everyone. There's this like prevailing idea, but it's not necessarily workable for everyone. And most of the people who think that they have that really don't. So don't feel pressured to use the word. I'm sorry that you broke up with her. I'll tell you right now, I think you dodged a bullet. Woman, crazy. You dodged a crazy bullet. Know that. Even when it's hard, know that this relationship would have ended poorly no matter how long it lasted and be glad that it didn't last any longer considering how it ended and how it would have ended. So as much as it sucks and as much as it's hard, try to take heart from the fact that uh, you're out of it now. There's nothing that you could have done to make her more faithful. This is something that is going on within her. Um, you will have better relationships than this. This experience is good information. It's going to inform some of your relationships. I think it'll teach you maybe uh, that love necessarily, unless you really, pro unless it's proven, it's just a word. Unless someone is there, present, excited to be with you, you know, maybe not every day, but most days, and tries to put you a a ahead of themselves when they can in terms of their priorities, that's more love than what she was doing. Um, my first girlfriend. I told her that I loved her and I did the most horrible thing in the world. I took it back. I took it back about seven months in because I recognized that I had no idea what the word fucking meant and that that wasn't what my feelings were towards her. I was just happy to have a girlfriend. I was just happy to have a girlfriend and to not be alone and have someone care about me because I thought that that was impossible at the time. So take heart from the fact that your relationships will be better than this. Um, try not to harden your heart too much. Look for warning signs. If someone is clearly not over their ex, they're not for you. Um, and I don't think this girl was. I wish you all the best and the best of luck. Feel free to write me back, okay? Folks, that is the show for today. Um, I am tweeting out a straw poll and I will post it in the description of this video about times for Saturday's Google Hangout. And um, tomorrow's my birthday. That's pretty, pretty fucking cool. So I will, I will see you. I will see you then. This is 26 year old Lieberman signing off and 27 year old Lieberman will be taking over the show as of tomorrow. Goodbye.